It's been three years and four months since Glide was able to serve a warm meal indoors. San Francisco's shelter-in-place order at the start of the pandemic effectively shut down Glide's free meal program. But within three days, they pivoted to serving to-go meals outdoors. And we kept serving meals outside for the next 1,200 days. But on Thursday, that changed. <laughs> And people like Reginald Dillard Sr., who has relied on services from Glide for years, were welcomed back with open arms. It's a little bit warmer than outside. Malcolm Walter, interim CEO of Glide, says today's return to community marks their next 60 years of service, with the goal of providing higher levels of stability for people who need help with things like housing, food security, and substance abuse, needs he calls life domains. Our goal here is to find one or two domain in which our clients are ready to seek more stability in their lives and then move on to the next one and the next one. And it all starts with a meal. With the first meal, none other than steaming hot fried chicken on National Fried Chicken Day. Most of these folks spend all day outside. Too many of them are spending all night outside. So to be able to come into someplace warm and comforting, Provides a, little, provides a little dignity, a little hope. It's big. San Francisco's supervisor, Dean Preston, thanking Glide for their flexibility during the pandemic. Especially at a time when it's become all too easy to attack San Francisco, to offer hope to so many people and a pathway and a vision for how the city can be a better and more compassionate place. And by bringing people back indoors for a warm meal three times a day year round, San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott, who rolled up his own sleeves to help volunteer Thursday, believes it will help improve the image of the city. Sometimes it's just getting respite goes a long way. And, and people are not on the streets, they're inside. Because at the end of the day, I think we all want somebody to care for us. And that's what this place does. In San Francisco, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.